How am I alive? Heard that guy's full in the last second. Same vendor. Good night. Looks like this is going to be a tough one. I know this is a stack we're playing. I think everybody probably knows who some of these guys are on the other team. Uh, I'm going right for the Outback. I do not want to play that. Maybe we should do no ban because of layer, but hopefully they will. Because I don't want to play layer either, preferably. Villa or bank would be perfect. And there's the layer. Well, at least it's not Outback, I guess. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. It's always tough when you're solo queue against like a full stack, but we can try our best. Let's get Jackal out of there. I do like playing Dokeby on this map. So we'll see if Doke can survive the ban phase. They ended up banning no operators, so... I guess Doke is alive still. And, okay, so they're AFK, I guess. Um, I'd rather ban Fenrir or Mirror than Capcan. I say that all the time, but come on, Fenrir. And, of course, it's Capcan. I'm on my warm-up account. I just got on for this one, so... I don't have Fenrir, unfortunately. Fenrir would be a great pick here for defense, but it's all good. Oh wait, my team's going all basement first, okay. I'm down with that. I think basement's the better site, honestly. Over the top floor. So I'm gonna take my Cade, do this little strat. I'll show you guys. I have done this on videos before. It has been a second now since we played layer. Somebody just asked for some layer gameplay yesterday in my comments, so... Uh, I mean, hey, here we go. Okay, I'm going to reinforce this wall right away. I'll show you guys a couple good Cade placements for this site. Could also get the hatch with one of them, but I like doing the walls instead. There is a reason for that. So I'm going to put some barbed wire down right in this hall. Up a little bit more. Don't want to put it too far up so they can hit it from the door. And I'm going to ping that. I'm going to throw the Cade right there in between. Because this gets this wall as well, so might as well just cate up the barb too so they can't drone down the hallway. No downside to it. Yeah, I got both of them. And then I'll throw my other cate on this wall here. This is a good one to get usually. Teams pretty much never even get my cades off there. Yeah, the hatch is ring forward, so you just gotta watch for Maverick on this wall. And there's a drone hall. Interesting procs right here. See, I'm pretty much just going to play off this castle and this barb and swing on the door there. They might have thought the site was like up top. Usually it is. Yeah, they're coming down yellow, I think that is. Hopefully the one Mike can make a play here. He's kind of holding this. I don't think they know he's there. Huge or my huge. I haven't even got my castle yet, so I'm chilling here. Oh my, I just made the play. He's above me, I can hear him stomping around, three armor. Probably coming down that stairway. Yep. Hey, let's go. Nike Spartan. Well, we didn't get any action there, so... Maybe we can on this one. Yeah, that one might just fried them all, though. I think you got three. Um... Yeah, I like Fenrir. Somebody does have Fenrir, which is good. 
Let's just go Ella instead. Ella's kind of like a pseudo Fenrir in a way. Don't even have a muzzle on the pistol. We could probably make this work. I'm just gonna reinforce this side of this wall. I don't know if my team wants to make like head holes. Okay, they're reinforcing. I gotta put all my traps down. I say that all the time in these videos about Ella. He has so much utility. Helps you a lot in solo queue. You can kind of watch your back and other stuff. Got you. No barb. I'll try to play this early here. Why not? Can make some head holes. Usually the push does come from operational. How did I just kill that guy? That guy missed like 50 shots on me. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take two. Let's not throw this, guys. Nice, nice. 3 you one No way we lose. Jeez, I just got like five-man Navy sealed rush out of that corner. I was trying to put the moves on him on the wall, but... I can't kill them all. They did trade me eventually. He's gotta be low. So my team's trying to throw. I don't know why Fenrir's over here still. Wait, does he have a diffuser? I don't know about this pixel from Rook here. The perspective doesn't favor him because he's so close to this thing he's on. Whatever that is. I don't think he has a drone on him. Yep, he's dead. Not a good angle. Maybe he doesn't have diffuser because he's just... Okay. I don't know how we just lost that. Man, we just blew that. I had two kills and two assists. You guys see that at the start too? Somebody in the drone hole. I shot their foot like two times at least. Thought that was a drone at first. Okay, we can repeat this side at least. See if we can do a little better this time. I feel like they're going to change their push because they just like full on rushed operational with no drones or anything. I feel like they're going to go like backside this time. I try to put like some utility in the front and then go backside myself and hold that. That's what I would do usually with Fenrir if I had him, but I don't. Again, this is my warm-up account. What a warm-up game to have. Like 10 years of load in there. Yeah, at least we're getting Rook armor. I don't know about the Rook pick, but... Take it. I don't see any drones. I also don't know how I feel about reinforcing this side of this wall, but it worked pretty well last time, so let's do it again. Why is this AFK? this there too for later. Just in case they push that still, at least I gave some help to my team. That is not ideal. They hit this LMI now, I can just swing off of it. 
Put that there. Okay, my team is all dead. I don't know what happened to us that round. I heard this guy the last second too. I thought I heard one underneath, but that was just my sound. It doesn't matter anyways. That was a 1v5. Well, I guess we got to get our attacks. Maybe it's an attack favored layer. We'll see. Usually, though, I want to get at least two of our defenses. We would have two, but we blew the 1v3. Watch this. I'm about to try the Hollow C on the SMG-12. I did this in the test server a little bit the other day when I was playing, and I was actually enjoying it. Because if you didn't know, the Hollow A is getting nerfed unless they don't bring that to the live build. The dot in the middle is, like, a lot thicker, though. So I've been, like, testing other ones. I think Hollow B might be the best, but I want to try Hollow C, too. I might try B in another video sometime before the next season. It's coming in a few days, though, soon. Vigil's going to find my drone, probably. They're up top. Okay, no, he ran. This is just a good drone to get quick uh, map control down here. He's back. Might get a freebie if he's just chilling in the corner over there. This is when it's tough in solo queue because I wish I had a teammate just to stay on this drone and tell him he's still over there. And I could just run in right away and fry him, but solo queue, you got to check it yourself. Or just risk it and go in. Yeah, I feel like this site's terrible, honestly. Getting ready for the ACOG for next season, too. Okay, that's the vigil. Let me get in here. Huge from the team. Someone's right up here, I just heard a phone. How am I alive? Think he pre-aims this? He pre-aimed it. Good shot. Nice. Good refrag team. Love to see the plant going down too. That Shmuel guy is pretty good at least. It's always nice when you have one good teammate in solo queue. That's all you need really. Much better there on the attack. We kind of threw it near the end a little bit, but not really. It was a 3v2. Yeah, I thought I heard that phone ringing for just a second. Obviously, they stepped into a mute jammer, and it was the mute himself. I don't know how I lived through that either. That guy must have missed on me. That was a crazy flick. See, I'm telling you, SMG-12 Hollow C is not even that bad. I put it on in the test server for the first time. I've used it in like a year or more, and it is decent. I know some pros use that. Might be the play next season. Same pre place drone. Do I can hear their gunshots? I can tell they're upstairs again and not basement. Same vigil. This guy likes chilling here early. I don't know if there's like any spawn peaks in this area or something. I always spawn this spawn, by the way, because I know exactly how it looks when I'm running out. The one time I've spawned somewhere else in a video, I died to a spawn peak. There was like a double window spawn peak. It was crazy. I'm going to shoot these down for ghost pressure. Let's 
see if this visual's still down here. Don't hear anything. Just making sure every corner is clear. Kind of like what I said earlier, the one time you don't check a corner is when they're just going to be in that one corner and you're going to die to it. That's just how siege timing is. I hear visual gun somewhere else. Have a Fenrir on it this time. I'm going to rotate around. Heard that guy's full in the last second. Unlucky for him. We're in this. Down. Let's go, team. Last one kind of pinned back here. Again, I don't know how a zombie lost that fight with the uh, Kiba on the door like that, but we'll take it. That was some siege timing right there. That dock click looked away at the last second it looked like. Unlucky. Here we go, 3-2. They're probably going to go basement this time. And if they don't, then that's just insane. Hollow sees the play, though, man. I beamed that Valkyrie down there. She hurt me at the last second, too. I was just trying to rotate to the back stairs where I came up there. That's why I didn't bother hacking the cams, either. I was trying to get upstairs and help my team quick. If you ever see me not hacking cams, that would probably be why most of the time. Either that or I just forget. But in that case, I just need to get up there. I didn't want to lose numbers. Because I think it was like 3v3 or something. Same drone here for the basement site too. I do like coming in the same spot. I feel like this is a good entry route. Fast map control, I say it all the time in these videos, but that's the name of the game. Okay, I'm thinking of my switch. We don't have any vertical ops or hard breach. I'm going to get on the buck. Okay, we have ace now, but we still have no vert really. We'll take buck. Can make a little bit. I don't think anybody's came up there yet, so the hatch is soft. Cam is a Narnia, man. Every time I see it up there. Same ghost pressure stuff on these doors here. In case there's any deep roamers upstairs. They do keep bringing the vigil. Someone's droning me in. Let's go. That's new. I don't know which side he droned. Okay, it's here. Let's hope we don't get flanked from this. It'd be nice if Nomad came up here with us. I don't know where she is. Uh, she's already, like, down there in the site. And she's dead. A little flank drone for the team. Dude. After what I just witnessed, I don't think Finka has a headset. Okay, Finka's pushing this back stairway. I'm just going to go with her for the numbers again, like I said, 3v4. I don't want to stay up top and let my team all die around me. I 
swear I just heard one above us. This guy was pinging it too. Someone wants to flank. Okay, they may have left. I think it just left me. Oh my god, he's already in. Alright. He didn't even know I was there at first. He's trying to peek this window because Finca left out of it. I don't know why Finca left me, man. We could just push in right there. Wait a few seconds. I could have even breached the wall. I should have done that quicker, I guess. It's all good, though. They got their basement around, I guess. We got defense. Still have a good shot, I think. Need some help here from the bottom of the team. Not really a team effort at this point. Okay, same strat upstairs here. I know the one just pushed the back and hit my LMI in the last round. I'm going to do the same LMI and swing off of it this time. I wonder if they're going to do the same push. I don't know why we're even going upstairs. We probably should go basement, but... Hey, I guess we're saving basement for round 9 if we need it. Maybe we can catch them off guard by going here again for some reason. Okay, let me actually throw that out of the door. Playing Ella and still making the headholes for the team. I don't think anybody's like pushing from below like that, so I don't need to put the LMI in there. A barb here, okay. Barb that up. I'm gonna barb lower on the stairs this time too. Got a drone. They're probably gonna push this. That's a really good LMI, by the way. I put a fin razor all the time too when I play him. Right when it activates, they're in the middle of the hall, exposed, free kill. I knew a man. Is that a Maverick too? Interesting. I'm gonna put another one right there now. So if they push the hallway, they're gonna be stuck in an Elamine too. Honestly, Elam might be better than Fenrir for this. Not better than Fender. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but good alternative. I do love Ella's gun, too. The last time he was the only one to push back here, so I think I'm good. I'm just going to try to play with my team here. Maybe one. Nice stock. Let's fall back. There we go. I just wanted to be the one to initiate that fight. I did not want it to be a 1v1 with my teammate. If I got pre-fired there, I want Peeker's advantage. Oh, it got scary though. My team just starts throwing every time. That was like a 4v2. I don't know what Doc was doing, man. That was the biggest problem there. Doc peaked in a 3v1. That's why I just fell back though and played the wall. I knew uh, the Ram wouldn't expect me to swing off that. Just played off sound. That's big though. We got that defense and we did not win that sight in regulation, so... I think we should be good. They're probably going to go basement again, since they were winning that. Oh, they're upstairs, okay. They did exactly what we just did for some reason. I guess we just had the upstairs truce. 
come out. Okay, I'm gonna do the same entry down here then. I got to be careful, they might be ready for me since I've killed like a, a couple people doing this. I'm probably gonna have that same Fenrir on the stairs. Gotta be wary of Valkyrie being below too. This is also a good drum, by the way, if they try to put like a prep C4 below operational. That way I know I can I can destroy it before my team dies to it. Or if the Valkyrie's just on cams down there, you get a free kill. Same ghost pressure. Nothing changes. Get my other drone in there too. That's our A stud, nice. I got the visual down here too, maybe. Same vendor. No, I almost got him too. I heard him in the last second. I couldn't tell if that was above or below. I knew that vigil was going to be below somewhere, man. Oh, the lineup. Shmuel win these. Come on, Shmuel. What a great name, too. And I almost flicked on that Vigil's head, too. I was so close. Good try, good try. Alright. So close. Just gotta bait the plant here. That was ballsy going for the stick on that. Good try, though. Good try. Well, we got defense on basement, though. We literally flawless this almost the first time. Like, I didn't get any action on this side, even. My team kind of destroyed them. Same strat, though. I don't even think they seen the strat last time. Nobody went for the wall, obviously, and the castle was still up at the end of the round, so... We got this, I believe. Yeah, at least Dizzy got a couple kills there, too, I think. The last couple rounds. He's up to three. Got to be a team effort. That should work there. This is a nerdy strat right here. Forget if uh, Ash Charges can get rid of it or not, too. I know grenades can, but... Nobody plays grenades as much now. It's a shield, I hear. Montane. Bring out the Montane 4-4. It's one less gun they have. I'm just going to play off this again. Same thing as last time. I don't have a castle, but... Don't want to get my life up either here. I'll just try to waste their time. I was stuck on the wall there. I was scared. All numbers, guys. I think Doc's trying to stim me. 
Yeah, he was trying to stun me. Huge guys, let's go. Go win, go win. Hey, let's go dizzy. Yeah, my team stepped up when it mattered there. Dizzy got another couple. Dot got one. I don't know why Ash just started full sprint damn me either. We'll ignore that, I guess. She probably thought I was down, but since I'm K'd, I'm not. Three armors can tank. Hey, level 69, let's go. We're still getting over 100 on this account, and I'm already in plat. Let's see. I think we got like 104 last game. Um, if it ever shows us. I don't really know what's going on here. It's so glitched, I can't even leave. What is happening? Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to restart my game really quick for you guys. Okay, there we go. We're back to the menu now, but um, I'm gonna try to queue a game for you on the main solo queue account, so we'll see how that goes. Hey, GG in that last game too to those guys. I know most of them are like streamers or whatever. There were some very interesting moments in that one. Hey, we've got some cafe, okay. I don't mind cafe. I feel like I do well on it. I don't like enjoy this a lot compared to some other maps, but I feel like I'm good on it, so it's whatever. It's probably like a A or a B tier map for me. Pretty default bands here. I like the Valk band actually on cafe. It's a good band here. Very good. That might leave Fenrir up here if they ban something else like Capcan again. We'll see. Or Mira. Yeah, there's the cap can. So Finry and Mir is up. That's going to be hard for us here on the attacks, but got to get one done. If we just win one attack, we're good. One attack is the goal here. It's possible. I'm going to use the ACOG gridlock here to get ready for next season. I don't have a setup on this one yet, but that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to get ready for like next season with the scopes and everything. That's why I was using the Hollow C on Doka V. It kind of worked though, man. I was going off of the Doak. I feel like I got most of my kills with her. And I had some nice shots. So I will see the new meta. Probably not. I'm getting my pre-placed drone right here on white, by the way, so I can see if anybody's trying to peek this door when I'm on the repel. Because sometimes I do get on that repel. It's like the stage one. So in case I do that, I'll check that first to make sure it's clear. And I could always come in white stairs late if I need to go up there. All other options are dead. I always watch for the spawn peak, especially next season with the ACOGs being a thing. Some people might try to fly out that door again. I feel like this is the safest spawn to come out of, by the way, if you're playing cafe. I rarely ever get spawn peaked on this map. The hatches. I'm gonna drone this to make sure it's good before I gridlock off the stairs fully. I like the one there too in the door so they can't get crazy aggro. Oh, that's soft? I'll try to help this guy make like a massive hole here. There you go. Massive hole coming right up. Easy as that. That's why you gotta shoot your glass when you're on defense. They didn't shoot the glass there, so that guy had no clue I was on the repel until it was way too late. He was not ready for that. Oh, same thing here, no glass. Okay, nobody's on that door. Nearly. 
They're right above the little platform. I'm shooting, by the way, right there, so they can't hear me rappel up to the roof. It kind of blocks that sound cue out. So I'll throw this here, 5v3. Okay, I'm gonna go with the team here. The pinging that, I don't see anybody. Oh my god. That guy must have been crouched perfectly. Where's last? We grab diffuser and plant maybe. Oh my! No, I hit him too. He was crouched. I think I would have got him maybe. Good shots. He's one HP too, man. I did not know he was there. The way Buck was playing that, I did not think he was in pixel. I should have been more cautious though. It's on me. Man, hey, I got two picks today. Can't blame me, really. You can always do better, though. You can't put it on your teammates when you're solo queue. you got to expect them to be bad. That's just how it goes. You can't have the mindset that they're going to carry you or something. You have to have the mindset you have to carry them. you got to treat every round like it's a 1v5. That's the Kickstar mentality. That's what Kickstar always said back in the day. Rest in peace. Until you can 1v5 every single round in solo queue, you can always do better. Always room for improvement. That frost scared me legitimately too. I thought that was clear because I did not see anything there. She just crouched deep in that corner. She also just choked on that gunfight. I don't know how I killed her. Okay, I'm getting a pre-place up here. I'm going to try to get in fast with Amru upstairs. I do like doing this strat. Sometimes somebody comes up here and tries to like spawn peek the piano windows. Or like see down there by like bakery. So if I come in cocktail window really fast, I can cut them off and kill them right in the back of the head. I've done that so many times doing this. If all else fails though, I get fast map control and go down uh, white stairs really fast. Or red. Okay, let me check. I think we're looking clear here. Can't tell if I like... Okay, that guy's below. I couldn't tell if I was hearing something like top floor or below the brown stairs. Let's go for it. Been liking this ACOG on the G8 as well. Ella's frying us. I can't tell if this call is above or below. I think it's below. I'll just hold the flank for this guy. Oh, hatch is soft. Okay. Honestly, I think I'm just going to drop this hatch. Might be the play here. We're all very split up. Let me see. How does that blind me?
offsite. Jeez. I don't know why that guy's just crashed there. I think I tricked him. He was thinking I was gonna go plant when I ran away like that because he was shooting me in the back a little bit, but he didn't know I was going through. He probably thought my shots were coming through the wall. Jeez, man, I had to go through like trenches to get to that guy. I had to go through two pieces of barbed wire and an Aruni. I wish my teammate just literally stayed alive and waited for me. That would have been 10 times easier there, but we got it done. We cleaned it up. That's our one attack we need to, so that's big. I'm going to need some help here, though, from the team a little bit. They can't rely on me doing that every round. A miracle hatch drop to get three. Also would have been ten times easier if I had the diffuser and not whoever dropped it by the Aruni there. All around, everybody could have played that better. At least we got the round. That's all that matters. Same site. Yeah, I don't think I should do the armor thing. I just seen a Cade running by. They're going to Cade the hatch, no doubt. And I won't be able to do anything to get that. Let me just go Twitch. Maybe I can try to zap the Cades off. We have a Thermite. We have a Thatcher. Try to work together for this. It looks like they want to go for White Wall. Also would have been nice if we got the white wall last round. So I didn't have to force a drop. At least he got the wall with a thatcher, that's good. Why is Thermite just walking in? I think we might be a little bit drunk right now. Someone's gonna swing this for sure, that dock's still alive. This is a bad push. I don't like taking white. It never works. Gonna need some help here, Thatcher. My timing every time I peek, he swings. Not much I could do there. Like, my whole team's just dead again. I wonder why Thermite just started walking in right there. We had no drones or anything on this dude. And nobody to refrag, most importantly. Hey, we got our one round, though. That's all you need. Cafe is pretty defender favorite, I'd say. So, one round's good. Just got to lock in for these defenses. Oh, you know what? I'm playing the Fenrir. I forgot I do have him on this account. I was just talking about the last match on layer. I didn't have him, but let's get some Fenrir going. Fenrir is really good on this uh, map here. You can see that last round. The other team was playing him. You can do pretty much everything in solo Q2 with Fenrir. That's the best part. Get that glass. I love putting the double barbed wire on that stairway. It is good. And ranked a lot of the time, they always just force their way up white. I don't know why. They either come for a piano on the breach or they go up white. Or they just all drop the skylight. That's usually the uh, rank takes. I mean, there's not too much else you can do, to be honest. It is hard to attack this site. Unless you want to be very um, slow paced and coordinated with like the window repels and stuff. That's a good Fenrir right there, by the way. I'll put this one for later. In case they do push deeper. 
Uh, I guess I'll just throw the last one here, because I don't know what these zombies are. Probably don't want to put a zombies like that, because that gives them free real estate up the stairway. They don't have to worry about anything, really. For the breach. I like playing this spot. I also don't like this. There's a little pixel. See, they just got all that for free now, because the zombies, nobody could really challenge it. Good night. Doesn't matter if I'm peeking them, though. Huge. Already off to a much better start here on the defense. I'm just going to chill in this corner. I'm on wet HP, so I don't want to give my life away here. I know if I die, a lot could go wrong. He is there. This dude literally used all of his zombies on one stairway. So you're like, I don't think that's good. There's a lot better uses for a zombie on that site. Like, I can understand if you put one zombie barricade at the top, but... Probably not two and then another two after. Yeah, I'm going Warden. I'm not going to be able to use him much anymore since he's losing the 1.5 for this hold. Throw that hollow C on there. Right now it is very good to use Warden on Bakery though because grenades are terrible. So it doesn't really help much. They move you out of position a little bit, sure, but you can still shoot back. You can see at least. But if you're Warden, I can't get yeaned. I can't get smoked, stunned. I feel like Warden's the best for holding power spots like this right now. Maybe next season I'll try to adjust to use the hollow on Warden. Could go with like the 1x. Some people in Pro League do that already. Given they are on like 4-3 or whatever, but it's still possible. MPX is still really good with the 1x. I'm just glad I didn't give Warden a cog. That would have been crazy. Who's excited for next season though? A few more days away at this point. Maybe less when you're watching this. You gotta be careful here. I'm looking for drones, but people could also prone peek that. I have seen that a couple times. It is good if they're not ready for you. You can see like under the crack and see anybody walking around a bakery. A drone somewhere. There it is. I'm just gonna chill here. They're not putting any pressure or any pressure on my bakery double door. I can play this hallway late. Jumped in. He knew I was there, but I don't know what that guy's plan was there. Breaching the wall. Easy as that. The guy got echoed at the perfect time, too. That coordination was crazy for Solo. I wonder if Echo was looking at me. Right side? Oh my god, he's on the left. I heard... I heard a Rooney's DMR. Oh my god, man. I heard a Rooney's DMR and thought it was Dokovi's, so I just swung right. And I had the SMG-12 out still because I wasn't ready for a fight. Hey, there's proof I'm not using a Cronus. Even I can't control the SMG-12 from there. I am human. Good shot, Echo. Love to see the Echo play too. Echo's really underrated, I feel like. Sucks next season. He's not going to get the ACOG, actually. He somehow didn't get it. He's only going to have the 1X now on that gun, which is going to feel weird. He's always had at least like a magnified scope in some capacity. Why are we going... Oh my god. 
So my team's throwing. We're going train instead of reading, okay? I don't know how to defend this site. I haven't played this one in a long time, but every time I do play it, it's terrible. It always goes really bad. Grab those drones. I'll just try to, like, run around like a crazy person. Get some kills, maybe upstairs. We'll see what happens. Might have to pray for this one, though. Not the site you want to go in a 3-2. I actually like Reading Room a lot, too. That might be, like, my favorite site in this map, so it sucks we got this one instead. Uh, put that up top. That way I can kind of play the white platform if I have to still. Not ideal on the first pick. This guy's still on this repel, I'm pretty sure. We're ramming into sight. Me and Vigil gotta get back to sight here. Everybody's just dead. I think we had too much roamers. He was already in sight, okay. I don't even know where that push came from. Like, I feel like they just repelled into the site window right there. Maybe jumped in that window too, I'm not sure. Yeah, everybody was just kind of dead, so it's whatever, I guess. Again, I don't know why we're going that site, that's a throw, but... At least we got defense and OT here, so we have a chance. Let's get this top floor site again, this one was good. We nearly flawless this. I swear I've shot that red drone every single round. I remember seeing that so many times at this point. Let me not put that there, actually. I'll put it here for later since they keep pushing white a lot. I won't activate it now, though, but... Throw that there, I guess. It's hard to play Fenrir and solo queue because you have so much setup to do. I have to reinforce and make rotates as well. On top of like doing some drone hunting and other stuff in the prep phase. So it's hard to put them on mines down in time. Those footholes are good, by the way, because if I'm playing this spot late and they're pushing in from a uh, cigar shop, then I can see their feet and get some wall bangs. And I can see default. Again with this Azami, I don't think this is a ploy, but hey, if that makes him happy, he can keep doing it. At least he's committed to it. Got a team player. Okay, hopefully Warren has the breach covered. I can kind of play this because they're not on the repels. Yeah, since they don't get on the repels, I can kind of play just in piano. Don't have to worry about it. I swear I just seen a drone. I think I'm tripping. Same white push with a grenade. Warren's got to cover this. Nice. Okay, zombie's got white. At least one below. No. I got to take this one.
White stairs, man. I was just looking at it too. That timing sucked. That was some bad timing there. If that guy peaked one second sooner, I get that kill. That's a siege timing though. I feel like there's been so many instances of that today already. Just siege timing. I should have been more patient. Just looked at it a second longer. I just wanted to get that kill on the guy that walked through a piano there and killed our teammate. Man, we almost had that too. That was back to 3v3, but then Warden died breach. Somebody else died. Unlucky. Got to get this attack. I think what I'm going to do is like kind of push below in Bakery and get up red stairs really fast. Try to cut off any roamers that are down there with the phone calls. Let me get this set up. I feel like that. Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. For some reason, my recording just cut out. I just looked over and noticed it stopped recording. I ran out of space, I think, but I deleted some files. We're good now. I did not even know it stopped. I didn't think I was that low on my storage. Trying to set this up again. We're going back upstairs. We did win that last round, though, the attack. I didn't get a kill either, so you didn't really miss much, but we did win. I'm glad I looked over, too, so I didn't miss the 4-4. That would have been unfortunate. Kind of the same setup here. I feel like Fender is working. My team's just like kind of dying around me and not really playing off of it very well. Fender's always a good pick though. I'll keep playing it. I'm going to try to play below two to stop their push. They keep on just forcing it up white every single round. So I think I might be able to do something about that. I'm just going to play tucked here behind this for now. See if I can get one for free, or flank them on white. I'm trying to change up my positioning here. It's Ace dead. I feel like they're about to drone me again. Someone just topped on cams. One v one. No, man, I couldn't see his head because that one piece was covering it. The rotate here went up right where his head was. He had the perspective on me. Ah, I tried my best there, man. I would have had to ace clutch that. Like, I get the first pick on ace downstairs, and then my team just all dies in less than a minute. That's just crazy, man. And I had the life flank. Yeah, I think I was wall banging the dude that was planting. I don't know why he kept sticking it again. I know his teammate was covering to the right, obviously, but that was a stack we were playing to. It's tough to win these kind of games against stacks when your team's kind of like dying like they just were. Like we had two people with three kills, so it's whatever, man. That was still a fun match, though. 4 4 OT. We almost clutched a 1v4, and it would have been an ace as well. I'm mad I didn't get that. When that guy was planting the second time, I should have just swung out and took the fight with Doke. I just didn't know where she was, so I didn't want to risk that. That thing's so thick, though, where he was planting, it's so hard to get the kill through that. But, hey, y'all good, man. That was a fun game, like I said. Two fun games for this video. This is going to be a super long one. I do want to make this one video, so it might be an hour plus because that was two four four OTs. But I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. If you did, leave a like down there below. That does help me out a ton. Um, getting ready for next season, like I said. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.